Hello Mariners, welcome back. I am Parthos and this is Sourwind and we return with Jeff Goldblum of the Junk. Ready to take on her second voyage? Let's see what missions await us. I would get some missions now but I don't want to sail at night time so let's head out in the morning with new missions at the crack of dawn. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night everybody. See you in the morning. Okay it's night time about 3 o'clock in the morning. Too early to probably head out right now and it's a bit of a storm but it does take a long time to load up the vessel with trade goods so let's get the trade goods now load them up and by the time all that's done hopefully the sunrise would have happened do you have any missions for the new area probably not no in that case let's take all your stuff that you can give me to a dragon cliffs we'll take every single mission you got please seafood yes we'll take that five of those Salmon, books, okay. Tea, we'll take the tea. And I guess we'll take the wine. I think that's probably all we can take. We can't take the water, can we? No. So that's a lot of stuff to load up. Well, let's get to it. Take this. Now I have been told that these, I didn't realize last time, but in the comments, you guys have told me that these things open. Woohoo! How cool is that? Right, that, that, that's really cool. I can put things in here, like a little hidey hole. It's like a little smuggler's thing. I guess it can fit one box in perfectly. Nice. To be fair, probably the heavy stuff should go down there, like books. Yeah, we'll put the books down there. Let's take out the tea, because I don't think the tea weighs as much. The tea can go down there. More books. Boink. And doink. Look how neat that is. Lovely. There's more over here. I don't. Can we open these? Yes. Okay, we are out of books, so we'll put the tea in here. Tea. More tea. I'll put you a bit there. Lovely. We can stack them too high, lovely. Put that there and we can still walk this side. I mean, it's leaning a bit one sided now. So I'll take you out, put you there for a second. This can go this side now. You can go on top. Still get past it like this. You can go there. Okay, it's a bit of a Tight squeeze, but that's okay. Let's put you down here. And you can go on top here. And then we've got the small boys, the seafood. They don't weigh much, so that's okay. There. 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 And the last one. The last one. We'll stick you there. Uh, it's still good. We can still go up and down. Yeah, we can still traverse it. Nice. Lovely. Marvellous. Splendid. Excellent. What time is it? It's uh, quarter to 11 on the old chronometer. Before we head off, so we don't have to worry too much about fishing, let's get a snack from the old food shop. Let's have uh, a crab cake. Nice. Some bread. Nice. A couple of fish. That's that fish. What's this fish? A bit of salmon. A bit of cooked salmon. Lovely. Okay, we're full now. That's cool. Alright, let's take Jeff Goldblum out. Into the big blue yonder. Before we go, we could try and make some profit back from the food we just ate uh, by buying some tea here and selling it maybe at the Dragon Cliffs. 150 profits. Apparently we can see this place as well. Oh wow. The profit we sold it there would be loads. Maybe if we're lucky we'll get a mission for this place at Dragon Cliffs and better go there to sell it there. But who knows? Let's buy some tea. How much money do we have? We've got six thousand. Let's buy two teas. One and two. Let's get the receipts. Yeah, maybe we'll keep our own personal tea at the back of the ship, just to keep it separate. 
awful. Yeah, I want to get rid of that roof, I think. Right, put that here. Nice, okay, cool. Hit the wind. The wind is taking us off the jetty, which is lovely. We can go pretty much straight now. Um, let's release the ropes, the moorings. Jump back on board. We're already getting blown off. Let's um, drop the main cell. Or put up the main cell. Before it gets too high, let's make it a better angle. And we are already away. We're slightly off the, uh, the jetty so we don't scrape it. Oh, look, what a lovely exit. What a lovely exit. We are leaving harbour. Beautiful. Goodbye, Sage Heels. You have been good to us. And onwards we go on our second voyage on Jeff Goldblum. She's a beautiful lady. It's Jeff. Let's let down the back one. Or raise it up, of course, because it's a bit different on this vessel. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I'm loving it. Okay, let's adjust this. There we go. It changed the course a little bit, but not to worry. We're going to use all, all the cells. Raise this one up to it. Beautiful. So cool. Almost feel like we've got a bit of speed in us here already. Right, so that front's out. The angle is controlled back here by this top one here. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so the wind, uh, the sail's not great for the wind, but we're going to turn to make the, uh, the wind better for the sails, as they are now. Lock it a little bit. We want to go north northwest. Oh, actually, did we come out the wrong side? I think we came out the wrong side. I thought we were facing north, but apparently not. We were facing south, of course, because we came from the north in the last episode. The wind is actually blowing where we want to go. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we'll go. We'll go northwest for a bit. We'll go this way for a bit. It'll be fine. Let's pull some of these bad boys in, so we can get a bit of wind. There we go. We've got about three days to get to Gold Rock City for the uh, the early missions. Let's pull you in tight. Put in the front one here. Just to get a bit of wind at each cell. Look at that. That's, a bit, that's cool. That looks cool, that does. And there's Gold Rock City peering around the edge of Sage Hills, saying, Over here, Pathos. You're going the wrong way. I'm over here. I know. If we could just get this through. Unfortunately, you've also got the wind coming from you. Because uh, the game knows where you want to go. So yeah, we want to go over there, where the wind is coming from. Pretty much. 
But we can go a bit closer to the wind. A bit leany, of course. Let's turn this vessel. It just feels really immersive, doesn't it? Oh, okay, 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 that's pretty good actually. The wind's not too bad and we are still pointing at it. As in, we're close haul, but not directly... What's the term? In irons? Maybe we go a bit to the left and just hit the, uh, the left-hand side of the island. Just to make it a little bit more wind-friendly. About there. And then everything's going to need to be pulled in super tight. Super tight. There you go. Uh, this one. Looks like we're going forwards again. And this one. Nice. Picturesque. The farmlands on the left hand side with a grain of tea and whatnot. Maybe the, maybe the tobacco. And us just sailing by. Saying goodbye, Sage Hills. We're off to another place. Back maybe one day for more profit with tea. I can hear a bit of luffin. Maybe we should point a bit to the port. We are going forwards though. Maybe a bit to port, just keep it a bit safer. A bit of speed. Got to remember that as far as sailing goes, though need to be pointing at our destination all the time. Use a bit of tacking. A bit of seamanship. Look at the wind as uh the wind has followed us round here some, somehow. Let's go to port to get a bit more speed because I don't want to go through the wind now because we'll get stuck. And then maybe we'll go around once we've got a bit of speed. Picked up. Go straight to reduce the drag of the, the rudder. Once we've got a bit of speed here, maybe we'll tack through onto the right hand side of that island. But we do need the momentum before we do such things as these. Really, it's a pretty game. Okay, we've got a bit of speed. If we can get round to face over there, I think that might be good. This might not work, but let's try it. Let's go to... Maybe not hard to... Starboard, because the drag can slow us. Or maybe we do go hard to start with. Come on, get through the wind. Get through the wind. See that wind flag on the other side? I think he's done it, you know. I think we've done it. As in, as far as the wind goes. It's hard to tell. We won't know until we're probably moving. Maybe forwards a bit so that we got less drag. Let the front one down. So the wind blows in the back one to help turn us. Turn these on. Do you know what? We we just snuffed through that I I've really pulled down the wrong one. Take the back one down now. And raise up the front one. We just got through just enough that there's the other one that I needed to, needed to do. 
Raising up the front one. Raise the back one back up. I think we're going forwards now. It's hard to tell because it's dark. But I think we are. Um, let's make sure we're centered. We probably are going forwards because the wind is actually blowing us. Looks like we tacked correctly. The islands are just visible with like the shadow from the stars. I think what we're going to do, because we're quite tired, is uh, lights out and go to bed. Everything hopefully will look better in the morning. And last light, and below deck, into our cabin. Turn the light out and good night everybody. See you in the morning. Oh, morning. Let's have a look where we are. How things are looking. Still not very near. Probably, oh, we got stuck in the irons, didn't we? It's the wind changed. Um, can we go to port? The wind's blowing on the front a little bit. Let's bring up the got the back one because the wind by the looks of it is on the front side is blowing to the left hopefully that should help turn us maybe if we even drop the middle one so all the pressure is right at the front as we turn around that makes sense to me and it does look like it's working, which is good. Slowly, but working. Of course, the more it turns, the more the wind should be favourable, so it should catch it and make it even better. I'm wondering if we are turning too sharply, the speed we've got. If we put it there, that actually might help. Because they have increased the drag of the it does actually appear to this is making it better. Because now we're going forwards more. So now the rudder's more effective. It's a bit counterintuitive, but yeah, this is actually better. Just have a little turn on the rudder. A bit less drag, a bit more speed, a bit more turn. We are actually making forward momentum progress again. I think what we might do, we'll go around all the way from the front and come in from the north side because we know we can do that. And the wind is pretty much blowing south. So we'll just go around to the port side, even though there's an entrance right on the right hand side corner just there. But that's okay. Make a plan, Portos. Stick to it. Do the plan. Job done. Sell the mission goods, get the profit, get the reputation, get some hopefully new missions for the new area. That'd be brilliant. Okay, let's straighten up, straighten up. And now, let's do the back one. Pull that up. Even up our, uh, our sailing profile. So that there's an even spread. And forward and aft. That's still nice and tight, yes. Now we can do the middle one. Um, this one? Yeah, the hooky ones are the ones that raise it up. Brilliant. Yes. Oh, yeah. Go forwards. Nice. I guess while we're doing this, while we're making some forward progress, what I might... Oh, I was going to put this at the back, actually, but... I was going to put this at the back. But we've got those... Um, things here. I was going to put it where this is. 
guess we can rotate these and put them kind of like on the edges. Like there. Although that's in the way of the winch a bit. Yes, um, this table. I guess we can't pick the table out of all the things on it. Uh, no. But that wasn't so bad. Let's move this to the back. Put this. Actually, we can put it here. Maybe. No, we should put it this side because there's more walkway on this side. There for now. Put these over here. The hook's there. The table can go here. Fish of God can gather it. Probably need to fish as well at some point. How's the sailing going? Sailing's going okay. I think we're making good progress in relative to the right uh, course. Of course. Whoops. Put the chronometer down. Tobacco. So that's black tobacco. This is brown tobacco. Okay, we're getting hungry actually. Um, let's put the pipe down. Ooh. Pipe. We'll decorate the rest of the table in a bit. Let's uh, let's get some fish because we're probably hungry. Now you don't need to face aft as I have been told, but I like the immersion. And if there's any reason I play this game, it's because of the immersion. So I don't mind role playing it a bit, you know, just to not make it all gamey. Uh, let's start with hooked one. It's a shimmer towel. Beautiful. Great on. Oh, look at that cool archway there. We we have sailed through that before with Doris, the uh, the Dow, on our first our first vessel. Pretty cool. I think we might cook with just two fish on the stove because we're pretty hungry, and uh, the shimmertail cooks pretty fast. One of the good things about the shimmertail, one of my favourite things. Probably why it's probably, probably my favourite fish. This is a tuna, lovely tuna. Shimmer towel and a tuna would make a good meal. Not the best meal, but a good meal. The bottles drop. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Now we can see why they call it Dragon Cliffs. We've got the, the dragon snout there. The eye. The kind of like, I guess the ears, the horns. Yeah, the humps of the dragon. But yeah, that's... You can, just, you can see the dragon, can't you? You can see the dragon. Right, I think we're going to... I have to sail a bit closer to the wind because otherwise we're just never going to get around this corner. I was tempted to change plan to get through the eye there, but I think we just need to stick to a plan. It might not be the best plan, but it's a plan. And that's the best thing I can say about it, really. <laughs> Let's continue to tidy up this deck. Put this one here. Oh. There we go. Sundial compass. The rum. Not much in there. 
An almost empty lantern. It looks nice though. And this thing doesn't really like to lay flat, but you kind of have to drop it and then hopefully it goes somewhat flat. You can't really arrange it to be flat. Um, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I think we're going to have to tack through the wind here and go, go uh, close to the land. Maybe go forward a bit more before doing it. But I want to do it before sunset, let's, so let's do it now. Let's go hard to starboard. I had to think about that. And we are turning. We are turning. There's a wind. Are you going to catch the other side? Look at the f wind flag. Come on, wind flag. You can do it. Come on, wind flag. Yes, I think they've done it. They've done it. Okay, straight up, straight up. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty nifty. Nice one, Jeff. Gold Bloom. She's a good ship, Miss Jeff Gold Bloom. I quite like the wind chimes. What do we feel about the wind chimes? Are they annoying? Do we like them? Yeah. The fish. Let's, let's eat the shimmer towel. Let's eat the tuna. Probably need to catch some more. Now this is what life's all about. Just you, the ocean waves, a port on the horizon somewhere as you sail towards it at sunset, fishing off the back off of Jeff Goldblum. It's a beautiful thing. Thought we caught one just before nightfall. Now this is what they call dusk. A nice fat trout. Straight on. Look, a storm might be coming in. That's not good. Hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. I do like those coloured lights. Beautiful. There's potentially a bit of a sandbar ahead of us. Let's just drop this. Let's make sure there's nothing we're going to hit. I think we're okay, are we? I think we're okay. I've got a bit of a bad memory. Of <laughs> bad memory of doing, hitting things at night time. Turn a bit too close to shore sometimes and you hit things. Hard to see, but we're just passing it there. Yes, we are thirsty and I do need to drink. I will get told off in the comments. And also, it's rightly that I should because it can, without any warning, teleport you back to a place you don't really want to be. Let's grab the water here. Good luck. I think that barrel might be empty now. Yep. Let's fill up the um, new barrel. I think it's time to turn, you know. Down to starboard. Try and hug the coast a bit more. Hard to see exactly where the coast is, but that's okay. Oh, crabs! Um, 
Drop the cells. Drop all the cells. Drop all the cells. That was scary as heck. Uh, um, let's figure out what's going on. <laughs> that's that scared the bejesus out of me. Obviously, the wind was blowing directly side on, was it? As we turned. Yeah, the wind was blowing directly uh, 90 degrees, which wasn't good to where the sails were. And it just was pushed. It pushed us 45 degrees over. And we were just we just had water coming on on the starboard side. That wasn't good. All right. Um, woof. All right. Let's this one go out a bit. Let's let the middle one out a bit. Okay. And then pull the middle one up. That should make it a bit more seaworthy. I'd love to be able to, and this is what I want to do. If I if I if I've got requests from the developer, I want a separate winch that I can attach a lantern to and winch the lantern up. Even if I've got to pay for it in the dockyard as an extra, that will be a valuable use of my money. And uh, I'd love it. I just love it. I think that would be really beneficial. It'd make it pretty at night time. You could have lanterns at the top of the the uh, the masts. I think it'd be great. You'd be able to see um, like the wind flags when they're up high. Yes, please, de developer. Yes, please. <laughs> not that I've got any sway, and not that I don't think the developer actually watches these videos. But that's okay. You Maybe you guys will let them know if you also like the idea. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments if it's a good idea or a bad idea. Let's just straighten up. And I think we're going to do the same. I'm going to pull out the back one. So we've got another cell on the go. Of course, that is letting out too. That is letting out. So about there, at least. I'm watching you. Do not tip over. Do not tip over. Hard to see how far away we are from the land, actually. Yeah, I think we're far enough north. The wind seems to be behind us. We could probably go directly at that corner and let the middle one oh that's the up and down one oh, that one let the middle one out pretty much as much as it wants to go straighten up straighten up have we got probably gone too far now because i messed around i accidentally dropped this one let you out as much as you want to go that should stop us tipping so much i think we're a little bit too far to starboard Go left a bit so we don't run aground. About there. We are very, very, very tired. And pretty hungry. Right, I'm going to pull in this fish up and I think we're going to go to anchor. Because I can't see where we're going. I don't know where the entrance is. It's all a bit. It's all a bit dark out there. What's this one? A trout. Probably can't sleep until these are cooked anyway, so let's put those on. Maybe catch one more before bed while they're cooking. While those two are cooking. I think that's the corner there. So it's probably, it might be around that corner of the entrance, who knows? But we need to turn that way, we need to face west by southwest so let's turn so this looks like land here I'm going to down to land there or that a cloud that's the land there so we are going to miss the land that's the most important part Let's 
put you on. Maybe you'll cook straight on. All right, I'm a bit. I don't want to go too far around past it, so we're going to drop this out. We're going to drop this out. We're going to drop. That's what he drops. And we're going to go to Anchor with Anchor Cam for the first time with Jeff Goldblum. It looks like we might be too deep to actually touch the bottom there. Oh no, there we are. I can hear it scraping. That's nice, that's cool. Yeah, these two are cooked, so let's eat these two. I'm wondering if, if we leave that on it, it will get burnt or not, but who knows. We'll risk it for a biscuit. Let's turn that off. You, and you, and you, and you. And you, and last one in the cabin, and uh, good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Oh, woken up, and oh, is it a storm out there? Oh, we're close to the. I think the anchor doesn't work so well anymore. Uh, I don't think that's where we left it. I mean, maybe we'll take advantage of the wind that's pushing us away from the wall and just leave now. Um, let's steer to port. Pull this up. Because I think we need to use a front sail to kind of get the front away. Raising that. And also, it's also anchor cam time, isn't it? Okay. Ankle cam. All right, um, hang on. Get to the back. Let's straighten that. Let's go to the right. We've gone too far. Do an anchor cam. Should have done anchor cam first. Let you out. So you can grab the wind. That's okay. We're getting away from the wall. Probably, probably for the best. Probably for the best. Woke up in the middle of a storm. Looks like the storm's over there. Uh oh. Oh, the sound just turned there, nice. Let's go that away. How is that fish got away? Did it cook? Did it burn? That's good. Let's do the middle one as well. Up you go. I'm going to straighten up. That will hopefully help the drag as well. And let's go for you as well. In. You're laughing a bit. Now we're going forwards. Oh, crimes! The storm is brewing. We're not brewing, it's brewed. We're getting served it right now. There it is, chasing us. Actually, it shouldn't be going away from us because the wind is in the front of us. So I think we've passed the worst of it. We need to just get out of it. We have to keep going this course here until the wind changes more favourably because at the moment it's coming from around the corner. And we want to go around the corner.
So that's north, so we're still not on the north side yet. We're still on the west side. Okay, part of what I've realised is why I'm always thinking the wind changes at the last minute. It's because look at the wind flags. Both of those flags are pointing in the same direction. I've stood next to them and measured it with my compass. Both are pointing north. It's to do with the fishard lens, because the fishard lens is stuck in the middle. North, a little bit left of north. And this one is a little bit left of north. They're the same. And they just look different here. Okay, so this direction is northeast. I think we can turn. If we go now, hard to starboard. Try and get through the wind. And as we go, we want to pull in. Uh, pull in the front one. I don't know if we'll get enough momentum here, but... Okay. Don't fall lot to the right. We are turning. We're getting the wind. That's it. Now straighten up. Now you can have the back one again. I feel like we haven't really gone anywhere. Somehow we got blown back. Much further than I wanted to be. And we can see the dragon eye again. What happened there? I don't even know what happened there. We got blown so close to it and then so far out. That all went a bit wrong, that, to be honest. Oh well. Now I feel like it's nearly night time again. I feel like I just got ahead of time vortex. Time has been sucked away from me. We just lost time there. I don't know what happened. Did we sleep through half the day? Maybe. I mean, maybe we should go for the eye around the other side, but I know the wind will change if we do that. Okay, Sal Wind, you win. We're going to go through the eye at night time. That's where the wind's blowing. Roughly. Let's do it then. We're going to try and come in from the east side rather than, rather than the north side. And hopefully, just hoping that the wind sound kind of like is favourable on the other side of this eye and doesn't change all crazy again. I guess we'll sleep once we get towards the entrance of the east side, maybe. Okay, let you out. We can have some wind to take advantage of this crazy plan. And you at the back. And you at the front. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Oh, an eel, thank goodness. There we go. Eels are very filling. In fact, we are quite hungry. Let's just cook that. Looks like we're going to go through this hole at night time. It seems like a crazy plan, but it might just work. We do need to stay hydrated. Just like in real life. Are you staying hydrated? Make sure you drink. Look after yourselves out there. Oh, looks like we're going through. There's the arch. Can you see it? Can you make it out? I think we're going to be clear of it, you know. I think it's going to be alright. And here we are. 
Jeff Goldblum sailing through the arch at night time. It's a beautiful thing. Who would have thought it? And we are out to the other side. Nice one, Jeff. Through the needle. Well done, Jeff, you did it. Okay, to port, to port. Straighten up, straighten up. Everything in tight. Let's have our eel. So thrilling. Yes, look at that. That is like half. That is literally half our hunger bar there. Compared to this little trout. And I'm not hating on the trout, but you know, it's not. A, it's not an eel, is it? It's not really good. Okay, so these things are due tomorrow. Oh, that's due today. The wine. Ah, uh, the wine's going to be late, I think. <laughs> Oh well, I mean if we could do a nighttime docking, maybe I would, but I don't know if we'll get a chance. Oh, I'm getting too close to the wind here, way too close. Okay, we are going forward a bit again. I've tried, uh, I spent too much time getting unstuck from the wind here, but uh, we are slowly moving again forwards with the wind on our starboard side. Um, let's make a turn again to port as we go around this corner. Which will be nice. It shouldn't be too much further, I would have thought, until we are on the north side and can see the entrance. We are very, very, very tired. But that's okay. In fact, the wind behind us, yeah, the wind's actually behind us now. That's let that out actually, yeah. Let all the others out. Uh, not you, you let you out. Take advantage of this wind a bit more than we did, anyway. And you as well, yeah. Let's turn to port again. Yes, I know we're tired. Which one wakes us up? Maybe we can smoke tobacco. Yeah, maybe we can smoke tobacco to keep us awake. Maybe that's what we need. I think it's the white tobacco that keeps us awake though, from what I'm told. Oh, we should have bought some elixirs. This would have been a great time to have an elixir. I didn't see any elixirs in Sage Hills, but apparently that's where you get them from. Oh well, shall we test the tobacco out and see if it keeps us awake? There's someone here already. I think it's the black tobacco. Let's have a little puff puff. How did that help? Did it help? Or did it make it worse? <laughs> no, it's helping. It's helping. Yeah, okay. It's tobacco time. It's tobacco time. Put that there for now. And we want to go over there. Keep hugging the coast. Yeah, maybe this side is easier than the other side. It's slow going, but we, we are making progress. Put the wind behind us, we've got the sails out. Make sure the wind is actually, yeah, the wind is pointing that way. Might need to pull these in a bit. So it's like that. And then that one can be like that too. And then you can be that. Oh no, it's going to be a tobacco time. Tobacco binge. If 
If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll uh, we'll have to get some sleep at some point. Okay, there's a bit of um, land protruding there, but I think we can manage it. If we go to Portland now, that might be for the best. Those lanterns are getting wasted now. The sun's come up. We go just about there. Turn these bad boys off. And you. And you. And uh, you. There you go, Jeff. Come on. It's a bit of a mission. Bit of a bit of a escapade, this. But uh, we're getting there. We will get there. I think the storm literally threw us off a bit there. Okay, be careful of these rocks. We do not want to be running aground. Oh, we are closer than we thought. You'd think we'd know by now, but we are closer than we thought. Okay, this is going to be a hard to port job. We're going in, in the morning. No sleep. You all buy tobacco. Oh, to Paul, Jeff, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But don't get carried away, Jeff. Don't get carried away. There we go. Let you out. Let you out. This is so cool. This is brilliant. The gates of Dragon Cliffs. Hard to port. No, wait for it, wait for it. Hard to port. Hard to port, hard to port. Timing is everything here. Timing is everything. We haven't been this. Yes, we did. Yes, we have been this way. It's beautiful. In you come, Jeff. Straight to up, straight to up. Then we've got to sort the sails out. Pretty much, let's bring in the main one ladder. Because we're going to get a close haul as we come in here. Which is a tricksy thing, but that's okay. Slow going as we pull this in. A lot of tension on these ropes. It's a ropey old business. Still going. Okay, well, let's go to starboard for it. Before we run aground here. Do not want to be booping any walls. As that's making a turn, we'll pull in the front one. I think that's good enough to get straight and then pull some more in. And we can see the jetty there, which is nice. I think that's probably enough to get wind there as we are at the moment. It's the back one that's laughing. And this is great. Jeff Goldblum coming in. There you go. Port to port. There's a rock in front of you, Jeff. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Here's flush. Oh, we need some more tobacco. Uh, yes, about there. Do you know what? I'm going to bring you up the front one, Jeff. You're coming in. You come. Drop the drop the front one. That's good. Face to the back again. Might even drop 
the back one and just do the middle one. And we can control all this from the uh, the wheel section, the bridge. Let's have a quick puff of the pipe. Are we standing still? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I thought we just ran out of wind, but we just boot. We boot. That's not good. That's not good at all. Right, put you there. Hang on. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Whoops. Right, push you off a little bit. Just, just get off. Get away from it. I'll save you, Jeff. Don't you worry. I'll save you. Okay, let's get back to the bridge. No harm done. Wait up there. Yeah, be careful with that one. Uh, stick to the outside if we can next time, please, Jeff. You are a little bit deeper than your predecessors. In fact, we could have maybe gone around the uh, the right hand side of that rock. That's okay. Tell you what we'll do is we'll go. Should we go into the um, the shipwright's place and see if we can get rid of this bridge, this this, this roof? It will lose. It will make us have less weight, and it'll be easier to kind of like jump around. I don't know if that would cost money because we're removing or 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 save money. Straight up there. I've only been to one of these places once before. I really hope I don't mess it up. Okay, I've not been into this one either. Okay, let's... Uh... More tobacco, please. Aye, aye, sir. Tobacco for the captain. Here we are, cruising. That's a nice steady pace. I think it is deep enough for us, hopefully. And I don't think it matters what side we go on. I could be mistaken, but I don't think it does. Let's go to port hard. Lock that. Um, I guess we're going to go on the right hand side. Because that was fully intentional. And... <laughs> And we'll drop this, we'll drop this. And then straighten you up. And then we'll grab the back one. We'll jump across. So the roof's in my way there. We'll jump up. Oh, crap. I blame that on the roof. Which we're going to get rid of. Um, put that there. We'll grab you. We'll put you here. Okay, this wine is a day late, my friend, but uh, there you go. There's your seafood, my friend. There's your salmon, my friend. There's your books a day late, but sorry about that. Oh, well. There's your tea. You're welcome. Let's look at your missions before we go to bed. Oh, look, now it's the Kika Bay. Where's that? That's a new place. That is a new place. Firefish Town, new place. Where's that? They even show us on the map. Oh, we have to find it ourselves. That's going to be exciting. Approximate location. Map unavailable. Oh, that's so good. That's so awesome. Oh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that in the next episode. Yes, guys. Tomorrow we're going to new lands. New lands. But before that, it's so late. It's so late. We pulled an all-nighter. We pulled an all-nighter and now it's time for bed again. We're going to close these up. We're going to come into our cozy cabin. Turn off this light. And go to bed. I'll see you guys. Not only in the morning, but in the next episode. Good night, everybody. I hope you'll join me. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like if you watched it so far. And subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, I've been Pothos. You've been awesome. Goodbye.